Welcome back to the shop, episode 18. Hard to believe it's been 18 episodes. I don't know. Seems to be going by really fast, but let's jump right in. Today, I'm working on some guitar necks. I'm actually starting to wrap up some cigar box guitar necks. They're all clear coated, and I'm actually might be able to get to doing some uh, wet sanding and some final buffing on these today, hopefully for some assembly this weekend. They're coming along good. It's got a nice gloss on there. It's probably 12 coats of lacquer on these and uh, really builds up a nice finish. I do like the lacquer a lot better than polyurethane. Um, the poly works well too, but the lacquer to me just seems to dry faster and I can build up a good finish a lot faster. This one here's got a flamed maple fretboard. I didn't do any sort of dye or stain on the fretboard. Now I wish I did because it's got a really nice flame in it, but you can't really see it because I didn't do any dye. I was hoping that maybe the lacquer would bring it out a little bit and it did a little and if you get it in certain light, it's definitely there. You can see it. It looks really good, but I think if I would have done some dye on there, it would have brought it out a lot better. And I think next time around, I will do that probably even before I glue the fretboard on. I'll dye it, sand it back, and then glue it on. It still looks really good. I like the I like the color on this one. I can't wait to see these together. Not just this one, but all of them really. This one here's got a maple fretboard. I didn't put any clear on this one. Um, I'm just gonna do an oil finish. Did I say maple? Walnut, I mean, I meant walnut. It's got a walnut fretboard, uh, no clear. I'm gonna do an oil finish on just the fretboard. I masked it off while I was doing the lacquer. I've got the logo all on there, Haley Guitars logo. Um, really excited about these. And I'm happy that I've been able to make some progress on them. Still gotta get them done quickly though. The bodies are done. I think I mentioned that in the last update. Did I? I think I did. Just needed to get these necks cleared. Now I need to sand them down and we'll be able to do this assembly. I'm hoping to get some assembly done this weekend. I got another project I gotta start working on. That one's gonna be kind of cool because I'm gonna use a whole bunch of different species of wood. I've got a piece of blood wood, got some maple, got some mahogany, and a piece of walnut. This is actually a cutoff from this guitar neck. When I, when I machined the fretboards, I made them long, and that way I could use them for different projects, but I ended up using it for this cigar box guitar, so I didn't need this extra length. So you can actually see there's a fret slot right there. This piece was originally connected right there. I'm gonna be using this little cutoff. Gotta start on that project today too. It's gonna involve, you ready? It's behind the scenes, right here. These little USB dudes, little USB hub thingy. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna start on this project today. At least some of the early, uh, early stages of the build. So I gotta do a little bit of machining on some of these pieces of wood and get that glued up. So that'll be coming up, hopefully the next video over on the Home Built Workshop channel. So if you're not subscribed to that one, there's a link in the description. Head on over there, click subscribe, and also the little bell icon so you get the notifications and stay up to date with everything Home Built Workshop. So who got a chance to check out the wind chime video? <laughs> I see you raising your hand. Thank you for checking it out. Those things turned out cool. Uh, so far, no issues with it. The only thing I did was I cut a little bit different wind sail. I made that teardrop shape uh, for the wind sail, but it, it seemed kind of small. So I, I didn't get a whole lot of movement, a whole lot of ringing from the chime. So I cut one that was a little bit bigger um, just to see if that would catch more wind and help it ring a little bit better. And it seems like it, it did. I don't know, I may have to play around with that a little bit more. It was kind of an experiment with the teardrop design, the small one, and it just didn't seem like it rang a whole lot. So I made one just a little bit bigger and it does work a lot better. The thing that cracks me up, we'll be outside playing. My daughter will run by and she just likes to just swat the thing with her hand and makes it ring really loud. It cracks me up when she does that. She just, just out of the blue, she'll be running by and whack it and it'll ring like crazy or or she'll run right under it and let it go over her head and ring. It's funny. It cracks me up. 
that's a project that's really fun and you can experiment with materials. You could use uh, some, some copper pipe like this, you know, use some reclaimed copper pipe from, that you found somewhere or you got from something and uh, you could use all kinds of materials. The conduit I actually got from a friend of mine, so I had that on hand, but you could use you could use about anything. The copper pipe, from what I see, if you buy it new, it's a little bit expensive, in my opinion, but it definitely would look cool, especially if you put a clear coat on it, it'd be that nice, nice shiny, it's with these loud planes. <laughs> in case I haven't mentioned it before, I live pretty close to a small, uh, local airport, n not a not a large airport or anything, but a lot of you know small two-seater planes and and stuff like that fly in and out of there, and so there's always airplanes flying overhead, and uh, because they've just taken off or they're just getting ready to come in for landing or something like that, so that is why you always hear airplanes flying around. I try to work around them when I hear one coming up. But sometimes I'll be in the middle of a shot or something like that, some kind of important part, and you'll hear those things flying over. But that is why it's just a mile or so, around a mile or so up the road. Those things are always flying over, coming in, going out, and that's why. But anyway, the wind chimes, the copper pipes, any kind of pipe, really, you can use. I think it would be cool, especially if you use one and you, and you cleaned it all up so it's nice and shiny, put a clear coat on it. That would look cool. Um, you could use all sorts of stuff. I've seen some built with um, like welding tanks or propane tank bottles, great big things, and you cut them down to different lengths, and that would be pretty cool too. So I don't know if I could come up with a bunch of those. That would be kind of neat to make. I mean, I bet that would be loud. But it's a really fun project, you know, something you can experiment with, different lengths, different notes, different scales, different chime materials, you know, pretty much any kind of metal pipe. I wonder if you could do square tubing. Hmm, I wonder if that would work. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Ow. I've got a piece of square tubing here. How can we hold this and see if it rings? I'm going to drill a little hole in this and we're going to try this out. Got a piece of that fishing line. All right, let's see. Here we go. Square tubing. It's got a weird sound. Kind of a chorusy sound. So there you go, an experiment right here on Inside Home Built Workshop. So again, if you haven't seen the video for that, I'll put a link down below in the description for that. One last thing, I wanna say thank you to all of you that are subscribed to this channel. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I made the announcement that I had stickers available. And if you haven't noticed, I haven't actually put that announcement up on my main channel yet. And that's because I wanted to make sure that we had all the bugs worked out. And we actually did, I did find a few things that I needed to get tweaked and adjusted as far as settings and stuff so that uh, they could be purchased off my website. So thank you guys for, for being patient and letting me work through the bugs. Those of you that purchased the stickers, awesome. Thank you guys so much right now. Everything that has been purchased has been shipped. So I do wanna say, if you ordered some and you have not received them, please let me know. Everything is shipped out, should be delivered, including some that went overseas. Unfortunately, I honestly don't know the delivery time uh, for overseas shipments. I've sent everything first class mail, um, and I really just don't know how long that takes because I, I haven't done it very much. So please let me know if you've ordered some and they have not been delivered. So I wanna make sure that everything's taken care of, everybody's good to go, and I've got everything worked out. So thank you guys for being patient and allowing me to work through some of the bugs and issues that I have. Now that I've got the bugs worked out, I'm gonna get that announcement out on the main channel and we'll open it up to the world. I wanted to announce it to you guys first because if you're subscribed to Inside Home Built Workshop, to me, I feel like you guys are more more interested in the behind the scenes and maybe a little bit more engaged and hopefully a little more forgiving if I do have some bugs and stuff like that. And you know what? 
I was exactly correct. So every every issue that I ran into, I was able to get fixed. Nobody got upset or anything like that. So one more time, thank you guys. I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being subscribers to this channel. You rock. But if you do want some stickers and you haven't gotten them yet, link down in the description to my website, homebuiltworkshop.com. You can click on the store link at the top and it'll take you right there and you can grab you a set of Home Built Workshop stickers. Also, don't forget, we're gonna do a sticker swap. So if you wanna swap stickers, you got stickers for your shop or your business or your whatever, send them to me to the address down in the description and make sure to include your return address and I'll ship you out a set of these that I have as well. So I think that wraps up today's episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you like it. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being a subscriber or even a viewer to Inside Home Built Workshop. I appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.